I have an image here that I took uh, in the city of Montreal where I live and the problem with this image is the color cast. So you can see a very obvious blue uh, color cast to this image and using Photoshop there's many many ways you can you can remove this. Uh, I'm going to show you guys six different ways that you can remove the color cast and some methods will work better with certain images. So first thing they've done is con click Control J to duplicate the layer and we're going to go up to image and we see three auto options here in the uh, drop down menu. I'm going to click on the first one, auto tone. And this is a very simple easy method. It uh, doesn't give you many options and uh, it does a pretty good job. I'm just going to toggle the, um, the layer here. You can see a difference. So it does a pretty, pretty decent job. I'm going to go back one and start over. The other auto command that we have uh, accessible to us is the auto color, which actually works a bit better. It sucks out more of the uh, blue, uh, blue cast of the image. But once again, we don't have many options to work with. Next, we're going to go to uh, an adjustment that is probably not used very, very often, and that's the variations command. So under image adjustments, and we'll go to variations. Now the interesting thing about this command is it really gets you thinking about color, co color complements, color theory, and it really can be very, very useful. So I'm going to uh, make sure that the midtones are selected. I'm going to turn off show clipping. Sometimes it can be a bit uh, of a distraction. And I'm going to make sure that uh, this slider is set really in the middle between fine and coarse. And finally I'm going to click on original, just to start from uh, with a clean slate. So the idea is this, we have a visual representation of the colors and their complements. We have the current pick, which is right here in the middle. And now our problem was we had too much blue. It's a blue color cast. So if you look, this is where the thumbnail for the blue is. And its complement is on the other end of the diagonal line, which is more yellow. So I'm going to click once on more yellow. And that's it. You can see the current pick has been updated. And then click OK. And I'm just going to toggle the uh, visibility of the layer so you can see a difference. This was before with the blue color cast, and this is after. Now, one trick that you can use is uh, the fade option. So once you've um, applied the variations command, immediately after, without uh, clicking on anything else, you go into edit, and we have the fade variations, which will allow you to fade uh, the variation command, and you can just uh, dial back some of the blue, ca blue color cast if you find that the command um, didn't do a terribly good job and you can just modify it that way and click OK. Okay, gonna go back to the original image, Control J to duplicate. Next we have uh, an even better uh, command as far as I'm concerned to the variations command and this is the match color adjustment. So I'm gonna go into image adjustments and we'll go all the way down to match color. Next, we'll click on this little uh, button here, Neutralize, and you can see it automatically does a great job of removing the color cast. Now, the advantage to this over variation is that we already have a built-in fade uh, slider here that, that we can use to dial back in some of the, uh, the blue color cast. We also have a luminance and a color intensity sliders. I'm going to leave these as is, and you click OK. And you can see the effect that this had. This is before, and this is after. So once again, it's a very simple and easy way to remove color cast. So, so far we've gone over three very easy ways to remove color cast. We have the automated methods, we have the variations command, as well as the color match command. The next three are a bit more involved, but work um, just as good, even better actually. Uh, the fourth method I'm going to show you for removing color cast is the average method. So I've duplicated my layer here. I'm going to go into filter, blur, average. And next, we're going to find the complement of this color. So we're going to click on Control i and we'll get this brown color. And finally, we're going to play around with our blend modes here. We're going to uh, choose the blend mode of overlay. And you can also choose soft light as well, which gives you um, a bit brighter image, more of the color cast. Oops. Let's go back to overlay. There we go. And once again, I'm going to toggle. And you can see the job that it does. It actually does a pretty decent job. Not not as good as some of the previous methods, but you can also dial back the opacity and make it a bit brighter, bring back some of the color cast. Pretty good. Next we have the very popular levels adjustment command. I'm going to click on levels 
and this has uh, really been a favorite of many uh, many photoshoppers for removing uh, color cast now there's a few ways that you can use the uh, the levels adjustment command for color casting uh, first of all we have these three sliders so this is the shadow uh, eyedropper tool we have the highlights and we have the uh, gray tones or the mid tones and what you do is you click on the first uh, um, eyedropper the shadows and the idea is to find a point in your image that you know should be black so I'm just going to click control plus a few times I'm going to hold on a spacebar to zoom and I'm going to click on this area here control zero to zoom back out next we have the highlights and I'm going to try and find an area that I feel should be exactly white and uh, it's a bit trickier but I think we're going to move down to the sign here control plus just click on this area here and that made a big difference the highlights are a bit overblown next we'll have the um, mid-tone eyedropper and the idea is to find a point that should be gray or neutral and I think I'm going to click in this area here that's pretty good and there's your result so again we'll toggle our layer panels this is before and this is after a huge huge difference I've gone ahead and reset the levels command and we're gonna start from scratch once again so the other method of uh, removing um, color cast with levels is to go into these channels here I'm gonna go into the individual channels now we know we have too much blue so I'm gonna go into the blue channel and just move the left hand slider to the right actually this is a bit too much and this is pretty good right about here it's before and after next we're going to go into our green channel and we'll just nudge this a bit to the right remove from the some of the color cast before and after perfect and this is the the, uh, the result that we get this is before and this is after so it's a bit more subtle but it does greatly improve the image of me right away the last method we're going to use is the curves adjustment layer which is again a very very popular tool but this time we're going to use it a bit differently for our color casting so I'm going to hold down the alt modifier key and I'm going to click on auto which gives us the dialog box with a few more options and I'm going to click on the radial button for fine dark and light colors and most importantly we're going to click on snap neutral midtones and click OK and that's another great method of using removing uh, color casting before and after and there you have it six different ways that you can use Photoshop to remove the color casting in your images and I'm using Photoshop CS5 in this case but most of these options are available in previous versions of uh, Photoshop and um, I hope you enjoyed it